So here's the question, because we're talking about Steph Curry. Skip, I'll go with you first. How good is Steph Curry? Stephen A. Smith, I know we share a lot of love for this young man as a basketball player. He is already the greatest long-distance shooter I have ever witnessed. And I did watch all of that game last night on NBA TV at Miami that Kerry points out. He was special, man. He was rare. He was otherworldly. And second half, when the game was close, he let fly with a couple of quick trigger, no follow through threes that, that just made me sit back on my couch and say, that, that's just too good. And again, he's, he's our, for his career, he's averaging 44% from three. And Ray Allen was a, or is a career 40% shooter, Reggie Miller career 40% shooter. So you can do the numbers alone, stand and speak for themselves already. But Stephen A., I watched this kid at... Davidson. I watched him for two years. I saw the NCAA tournament game against Kansas, and I went out on the limb and on the record, and I said I would take him over Blake Griffin, number one in that draft. And the more I watch him, the more I stand by that pre-draft opinion. This is a very special player. The more I watch him, the more depressed, depressed I'm getting that the, the, the New York Knicks didn't find a way to get their hands on to move up a spot in the yep. draft whatever the case to get him. You know, Skip, that I'm on the record talking to you about this kid, how he can boogie on anybody. He's not some spot-up shooter. He's anybody. got the handle to create space and shots for himself. He can take you off the dribble. He can dance on you. I'm watching my man Isaiah Thomas on NBA TV last night while the highlights were going on, screaming at the producers to say, why are we showing the highlights to all of these other people? Can you turn it and show the dude that had 40? It's Steph Curry. He is my favorite player to watch in the NBA. He is a legitimate bona fide superstar in this league. He is a showstopper. He is box office. And as far as I'm concerned, he is the most lethal marksman. But I got something else to tell you, Skip Bayless. This dude, Clay Thompson, uh, you know, the son of our colleague for ESPN LA, Michael Thompson, yeah. who does who does uh, color commentary with our man John Ireland on Laker games. His son, my, Clay Thompson, makes them maybe the best shooting backcourt we have ever seen in NBA history. Klay Thompson showing he's worthy of his money, 22 and a half points a game. This kid, Steph Curry, 24 and 7. Okay, down in assist, but, you know, same amount of points up in terms of his shooting percentage, not just from the field, but from three-point range. And the boy got a handle. He can get loose. He can shoot from anywhere. You are literally petrified of Steph Curry from the moment the ball gets past half court because he can pull up. You know how I like to say people can pull up from 30? He can pull up from anywhere. Yeah. It doesn't matter where he is yep. on a court, past half court. He can literally pull up, and it's going in better than 40% of the time. This brother is something special. And I'm telling you something right now. It wouldn't depress me. It wouldn't bother me at all. If the San Antonio Spurs, if my pick of the Los Angeles Clippers, if the Memphis Grizzlies or anybody else got knocked out so we could watch Golden State. Because not only is Steph Curry box office, Golden State looks box office. I mean, my God, Skip Bayless. They I got to give Steve Kerr, because you know I love my man Mark Jackson, who I believe deserves to be a head coach in this game right now. But Steve Kerr is doing a hell of I'm a job you. coaching this team. And by the way... Oh. Andrew Izzy. Bogut, Andrew Bogut isn't bogus. I know he's only averaging like eight points, nine rebounds, but he's shooting about 61% from the field. He's actually showing there's a purpose to him being on the basketball court. Oh, my Lord, let me imitate Fred Sanford, call Elizabeth. I can't believe what I'm seeing, but he's actually doing it. So I got to look at him and say, look, man, if they can get any level of production, David Lee comes back and he can give you something. Andre yep. Godala give you better production off the bench with Harrison Barnes in the lineup, with, the, with Curry and Thompson yep. is that backcourt with Bogut not being bogus, okay? Look, with Maurice Spates averaging 11 and a half points coming off the bench. He's 11 and terrific. 2 is not an accident. These boys are no joke <clears throat> right now. The Golden State Warriors, if you can get any production from your front line, because I didn't pick them to come out of the West Skip because I don't believe in Bogut and I don't believe in their front line. But if they can get production from those dudes and it comes down to you trying to find a way to deal with Steph Curry and Klay Thompson, good luck with that. 
because I don't see anybody doing it. Steph Curry is the real deal. This boy is big time, and he is my favorite player to watch <laughs> in the NBA. I love him. Love him. He's the player I wish I could have been. Mm. I mean, he's just special. He's special, Skip. Okay, w w w wait a second. Did I just hear you <laughs> switch your pick to Golden State no, from the Clippers? No, Is no, that what you just no, did? No, no, oh. I did it. No, no. I said if they, I okay. said I would have okay, picked just, them if I believed in Bogut in that front line. But I don't. Okay, okay, I got it. I thought you were starting to believe in Bogut because he's no longer. No, Bogut. I'm just giving. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just giving. I'm just giving okay. him credit where credit is due. It's rare that he deserves it. Let's okay. give it to him today. Might not deserve it next week. Okay, I, I carry as much as I love to watch Steph Curry. I, I want to go on the record here again. My favorite player is still Manu Ginobili of the San Antonio Spurs. And since Stephen A. brought them up. I do, for objectivity purposes, mm -hmm. need to point out that my Spurs just a couple of weeks ago went to Golden State okay. and took them all apart oh. and held Steph Curry. As much as I love him, he went 0 for 7 from 3 that night because the Spurs bad do game. know how to defend the three-point line. Bad, bad, bad game number one. Okay. Bad game number one. Experience over youth, number two. And number three, Kawhi Leonard is something special. Kawhi Leonard. He is also something, something special. Skip, Skip, he can guard anybody 6'9 and shorter. He can guard anybody in the league 6'9 and shorter.